Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your 11th biology tutorial and in this video we're going to be talking about proteins. Good enough, I really need to take a class in handwriting. But nonetheless, we're going to be talking about proteins and let's go ahead and start off by talking about why do you even need proteins in your body? And that's actually, proteins are one of the most diverse things in your body and you need them for a whole bunch of different things and I can't even come close to explaining all of them but some of the major things is they provide structure in all of your cells um, they carry important molecules all around your body to different cells and uh, let's see they are also used as something called an enzyme and we'll talk more about enzymes later but they pretty much speed up chemical reactions so your body isn't waiting around for crap to happen randomly so basically proteins do a whole bunch of different crap and the building blocks of proteins are called amino acids. Now they're called the building blocks because well that's what proteins are essentially made of but there's kind of a mid process in between. So say that this was an amino acid <laughs> I don't really think inside your body that they look uh, like a circle with an A in it but whenever you have a bunch of amino acids a, A, A. They can go ahead and string together, and once a bunch of amino acids are strung together, they can form something called a polypeptide chain. So, polypeptide chain. So that's what we have right here, and a fun little fact is that these amino acids are actually linked together by the process of dehydration synthesis, and we remember that from the last tutorial. So basically, a bunch of amino acids link together and form a polypeptide chain and once you have a bunch of polypeptide chains they can come together and form proteins so <laughs> I probably shouldn't have drew so much so many arrows but let me go ahead and uh, make this a little bit simple amino acids form polypeptide chains chains I'll add a Z, gangsta, and polypeptide chains can come together and form proteins. And uh, well, that's pretty much all you need to know for right now. And I might want to get a new slide out. And another cool thing is that let me go ahead and talk about some different types of proteins in your body. So I'll go ahead and talk about some of the most common ones right now because, again, like I said, proteins do a crap load of different stuff and it's going to take me forever if I try to explain each one but one of the most actually the most abundant protein in humans is called collagen you may have heard of it before now collagen is basically the tissues that um it's kind of like between your muscle and your bones and it plays a big role in like ligaments and tendons and stuff it's pretty much to uh, how can I say this provide support I guess provide support in your body and uh, another big one is hemoglobin and if you hear my dog crying then uh, that's me not my dog so hemoglobin is another big important protein in your body and uh, it's found in your red blood cells so that kinda looks like a red blood cell actually and its job is actually to carry oxygen all around your body so there's a protein inside here and whenever you have some oxygen that needs to be delivered to different places in your body, you use hemoglobin and it attaches onto that oxygen and delivers it to wherever your body needs it. So to recap one last time, proteins do a bunch of different crap in your body, a bunch of important stuff, and they're basically made from something called amino acids, which join together through dehydration synthesis to form polypeptide chains, and once you have enough of these chains, you can form a protein. Now proteins, like I said, do a bunch of different crap, including providing support, which is the main job of them in your body. Collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. And also hemoglobin is another famous one, I guess. You probably hear that a lot. And its job is pretty much to take oxygen and deliver it to different places on your body. So proteins, unlike other things, have a very diverse range of jobs, unlike, you know, just, I don't know, something else. So I'm going to shut up. That's enough about proteins. You guys are probably sick of it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.